Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zarks coming at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today we're going to be doing a shopping spree. Now to be honest, I don't know exactly how many coins we're going to spend so keep track of my coins. I do have some cards selling which may mess up my coins here because stuff could sell, coin count could go back up but this is easily, I have it actually mapped out the players we're going to get. A 3 million coin shopping spree. However, I didn't account for buying players and then like having to power them up and buy their lower cards, all the train points. So it's probably close to like a 4 million coin shopping spree. Now, I don't give a shout out to Marcus Kreiser for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to channel, to notification blonde, and comment down below Noti Gang. And guys, I did already tweet out my NBA picks for tonight. If you guys want to copy those, follow me over on Twitter. Yesterday, we had almost $500 in W's on Underdog Fantasy, which can use code ZERCH match first deposit up to $100. So tweet me your guys' lines, copy mine. Do the opposite. Maybe that'll work better for you. Who knows? But check it out. Now, of course, the reason I'm doing a shopping spree today is because, as you guys know, if you've been around the channel now for a little bit, I did go on vacation last week. And when I went on vacation, they came out with those Guardians, the Part 2 players, you know, the Namath and all of those cards. And then we've had Ultimate Legends as well. So I didn't really get to go out and pick up them. However, you guys can see the team we're working with here. And you'll notice there's a uh, couple of spots here that were missing players, right? So... Let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's get the most important position out of the way instantly. Who is my quarterback going to be? Yes, I am finally moving on from Derrick Henry. Now, I did already post a gameplay over on Xerxes 2 with Michael Vick gameplay. However, I don't think that I'm going to keep Mike Vick. I think the big issue for me with him is I really want to take advantage of his speed, but I don't want to spend 10 AP to get Escape Artist and then not have Gunslinger with how bad his release is. So with his release being that bad, I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, I need to get a better quarterback in terms of release, but I still want speed. I may even want to still use Escape Artist, and that's Joe Namath. I am going to be rocking with Joe Namath at quarterback. Uh, in my opinion, the best quarterback in the game. And if you want to use Escape Artist on him and then throw on either Pass Lead Elite or Set Feet Lead off the top of the head, I can't remember which one he gets because he's a field general. I want to say it's pass lead elite i believe is the one that he actually gets here you can do that so that's probably what i'm gonna do pass lead elite and escape artist on him he's got 92 speed 91 excel 97 throw power 94 short 96 medium and 92 deep he's not you know vic when he actually runs in terms of juke and everything but he'll get the job done oh another guardian card that i wanted to go out and pick up is Derek henry i've been telling you guys about Derek henry and how good he always is right Derek henry is always amazing and, you know, I did get to use CJ2K, and he's really, really fast. And, you know, Derrick Henry's got 96 speed, 95 excel, but uh, CJ doesn't have fight, right? He doesn't have any trucking. He's a smaller running back. He doesn't have the weight that Derrick Henry has, and that's what I love. I love Derrick Henry because he's always breaking tackles. He's always falling forward. Yeah, maybe in certain situations, you know, if you had Chris Johnson, you might score a touchdown, whereas Derrick Henry is only going to pick up 30 yards instead of the 60-yard TD but I think I would much rather have the running back that is going to pick me up six yards on a run instead of the running back that's going to get me three yards on a run because Derek will fall forward. That's kind of my thinking behind that. Now, also, another player that I want to pick up for the team is actually the LTD from last week's Ultimate Legends, is the, and that is going to be Jimmy Smith. Now, Jimmy Smith, though, number one, follows me on Twitter, so shout out to you, Jimmy Smith. But number two, he also played for the Cowboys. So I do run, you know, 25 to 50 Cowboys cam, so he's going to get a little bit of boost there. And, of course, this card has got 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 short, 96 medium and 97 deep route running he also comes with built-in route tech now here's the question though right he has built-in route tech for cheaper so i don't know if i'm actually going to power him up or not but i feel like i'm probably just going to power him up just because you know so i can get him just a little bit better everywhere else he's gonna be at 99 juke move powered up as well so yeah jimmy smith 486k cowboy gotta come to the team and speaking of cowboys you guys saw that offensive line and how we needed a little bit of help over there at offensive guard at right guard specifically 
And yes, we are going to go ahead and we are going to pick up another Cowboy. I actually had Zach Martin there at right guard. So it's funny, we're going from a Cowboys right guard in Zach Martin to another Cowboys right guard in Leonard Davis right here, 97 overall. The final offensive player we're actually going to pick up, you may not have even, you know, thought that I would need this upgrade, but I want to go ahead and do it because he has a limited that's in the game right now and he's kind of cheaper and whenever ltds get down to like 330 you know 320 even lower than that i always pick them up because it's a rental pretty much right you can go ahead and quick sell at a later point for 250k guaranteed and right now jason kelsey's 98 overall is 320,000 coins and i actually have the team of the year kelsey on the team so why not pick up this 98 for 320 and then if i ever decide to get a new center which you i mean i really don't need to move off this card look at the stats 99 run block 96 pass block 93 strength it's an incredible card will probably be my center for the rest of the year and now we're going to move on over to the defensive side of the ball and pick up some players over here and at left end this is a player that i as i said i was on vacation whatever but i saw it and i was like wow i've got to have that card and that would be max crosby max crosby looks just ridiculous for 242,000 coins you're getting a left end that has 94 speed 97 excel 98 block shed and 97 finesse move and i have played against this crosby card now a couple of times and let me tell you he's really really good now this is not going to be the last player that we pick up here but this is the last player we're going to buy because i'm actually going to do two more sets for players so you guys can see we're here at dt now i will let you know I don't really use defensive tackles that much. I only use my defensive tackles if it's like a goal line situation and I know they're running or they're running a sneak or my opponent's just running the ball a lot. Then I will actually sub in my DTs. I run big nickel, so I actually have my defensive ends on the interior and my outside linebackers are on the outside. So I do not use DTs and I do not use middle linebackers, but... Vince Wilfork, I just love Vince Wilfork. Honestly, I love Vince Wilfork cards. He's got 82 speed. He's 325 pounds, 97 block shade, 97 power move. So yes, I'm paying 385K for a defense tackle that most games probably will not ever touch the field. And when he does, if he ever does in a game, it's probably for like three or four snaps at most, more than likely. And uh, that is why I just never buy a defensive tackle number two. You guys will notice that in my team because my defensive tackle too has never gotten onto the field at all this year. As I did say, guys, those were the final cards I was gonna buy in the auction house. However, I did have to go out and buy two more 97 overalls to get Deion Sanders. Obviously, I want Deion Sanders on the team had to be done i'm a cowboys fan and also of course with dion he does give you a man and zone boost to your team which is big for all of your corners as you guys can see right here the set is now done limited 98 overall dion sanders so yes we're going to get that boost here i believe it's to all of the corners not just the dbs i believe it's just the corners but you can see right here we have the dion coverage boost and we have to add that actually into his power up so he will keep the boost and then this is the final player we're gonna pick up it is night train lane now i already had his 95 overall in the set and a couple other pieces but i just went out and bought the rest of them so now we get night train so yes dion and night train lane coming to the secondary that's definitely going to help us out a lot and of course with night train he's a huge cornerback and he's very very good versus the run six foot one 96 zone 97 man 96 speed he's also got a 82 block shed and a 95 hit power hopefully get some fumbles so i've got all these cards now for the team and now i'm gonna go ahead and power them all up and i'll catch you guys in a minute when they're all powered up all right so i powered up everybody you guys can see how many coins i'm down to all the training points i just spent i'm not exactly sure to be honest how much we just spent in, in uh, total there but it was a lot of coins and a lot of training so you guys can see now this is the team so wide receivers we have cooper cup we have waddle and we have jimmy smith now and then we have derrick henry and joe namath by the way guys i am using the uh, gridiron guardians the super suit which gives a plus one to all ratings so that is how derrick henry and joe namath are actually up to 99 overall so with that super suit there i mean derrick henry's got 98 speed with 99 truck, 99 break tackle, 247 pounds. He's definitely just a uh, absolute tank. And then offensive line, we now have Leonard Davis. We have Jason Kelsey right there still. I'm working on getting Pat Fryer moved, so I'm not changing from Waller. I like Waller still, but once Pat gets up, I'll probably swap those two out there. And then defensively speaking, you guys can see we do have Dion now and 
Night Train Lane. And of course, with Dion, with him having this boost right here, plus one man and plus one zone to all of my corners. Well, now Dion is 99, pretty much everything. I mean, speed, excel, agility, uh, man, zone coverage. He's got 91 press himself. So that is really, really big to help out Pat Sertain and to help out night train lane because now night train is at 99 man 99 zone and 99 speed at six foot one so really i mean the team is looking really really nice then we have vince wolfric at dt we have max crosby boosted to a 99 because the green iron guardian stuff and even patrick certain now is at 99 zone and 98 man coverage and in case you guys did want to see max crosby here of course you know with the great iron guardian uh boost and everything he is pretty nasty. 96 speed, 99 excel, 99 block shit, 99 finesse move. So absolutely had to have him on the team. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. That is my special teams. That is my specialist. And then, of course, my strategy items, you know, Patriots offense and Giants defense. Looks pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.